What's up, guys? Warren B. Hall here. You're watching World vs. Warren, but this is also Driving the Car Chronicles. You know how I am. I do both of those. Uh, I want to start this one out by telling you that every now and then, someone's going to say something that's going to make you feel a little off. It might make you doubt yourself a little bit. And what you need to do is immediately drink some of yourself in. Take a little sip of that. You know what? Uh, I might not be all of that, but I'm enough of that. Yeah, I'm enough of that. I'm going to keep doing what I need to do and what I should do. It's been one of those days last couple days. Uh, one of the things I do to get myself on the right track is sometimes I like to take a, uh, take a little drive in the comedy car, which is what we're in today. That's what I call it, the comedy car. Because recently, someone had told me how I am uh, not that funny. Which, again, it's, it's fine. It's the whole other context that, that went with it. That was a little add-on they were throwing in. It's like, you know what? I was funny enough to find work. And I was funny enough to find enough work to save money to buy the comedy car. So that's a good thing. And you know what? Once you do that, it kind of snowballs into, and I also did this, and I've been doing this, and I'm taking care of your so-and-so and such and such. So, boom! Who are you to tell me that, right? So it's one of those things. Drink yourself in. Remind yourself that uh, you are enough of that, if not all of that. Some of you are probably all of that. I'm not all of that, but I'm enough of that. But what's going on in life besides that little uh, that little tiff? Uh, things are going good. I'm feeling healthy. The leg is feeling better. I'm on my way to the gym right now because uh, I'm at a point where physically I am able to go back to work, which luckily for me, climb a couple steps, I'm at my job. Um, yeah, that's that. Feeling good about that. My wife still appears to like me, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm enough of that. Hey, do you guys know that song, Truth Hurts, by Lizzo? I like that song, you know. I'm one of those people, I, listen, I like the music more than I listen to like the lyrics, you know. So every now and then, I'll catch a lyric. I'm like, oh, that's a cool lyric. Like she says, I put the sing in single. I thought that's cool. I put the sing in single, right? One of the songs makes you, makes you, oops, sorry, makes you feel kind of good, right? But I wasn't listening to the whole song. So one day, I got the kids in the car, and I didn't realize the beginning of the song, she starts out, you could have had a bad bitch. And I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Right off the cup, just could have had a bad bitch. Right off, right off the, see, that's a perfect example of drinking yourself in. See, obviously she was in some type of relationship where this guy was playing her in a way she didn't feel, so she stopped seeing him and she let him know, hey, you could have had a bad, right? Which, I don't know, I mean, just starting the song off for the kids, let them know sometimes you gotta have a lowbrow bitch at first, a little lowbrow, and then you work up to having a bad. You could have had a bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know the line after that. But yeah, sometimes you gotta drink yourself in. Thank you, Lizzo. Truth hurts. We're almost at the gym. Excitement! Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> 